Compass is a compositing window manager for the X Window system, using 3D graphics hardware to create fast compositing desktop effects for window management. Effects, such as a minimization animation or a cube workspace, are implemented as loadable plugins. Because it conforms to the ICCCM standard, Compass can be used as a substitute for the default Mutter or Metacity, when using GNOME Panel, or Quinn in KDE Plasma workspaces. Internally Compass uses the OpenGL library as the interface to the graphics hardware. <laughs> <laughs> hardware requirements Initially, Compass only worked with 3D hardware supported by XGL. Most NVIDIA and RT graphics cards are known to work with Compass on XGL. Since May 22, 2006 Compass works on the standard XORG server, by using AIGLX. Besides Intel GMA graphics cards, AIGLX also supports using AMD graphics cards including R300 and newer cards using the open source Radeon driver which supports GLX underscore EXT underscore texture underscore from underscore Pixmap since fall 2006. NVIDIA's binary drivers since version 1.0-9629 support GLX underscore EXT underscore texture underscore from underscore Pixmap on standard XORG server, RT, AMD's binary drivers do since version 8.42. History The first version of Compass was released as free software by Noval in January 2006 in the wake of the also new XGL. It was one of the earliest compositing window managers for X. In March 2006 Compass was ported to AIGLX by Red Hat. <laughs> Beryl Beryl was the project name for the Quinstorm branch of Compass, announced on September 19, 2006 after Compass developer Quinstorm and the development team decided that the fork had come too far from the original Compass started by Noval Compass Vanilla. After the Noval XGL, Compass team mostly David Reeveman, refused the proposition to merge the Quinstorm changes with Compass Vanilla. The decision was made to make a real differentiation. Among the differences to Compass, Beryl had a new window decorator named Emerald based on CGWD along with a theme manager called Emerald Theme Manager, used a flat file backend instead of GCONF, and had no GNOME dependencies. Topic. Merge of the Compass and Beryl communities On March 30, 2007, discussions between the Beryl and Compass communities led to a merger of the two communities which results in two new software packages Compass, also Compass Core which contains only the core functionality of Compass and base plugins Compass Fusion, consisting of the plugins, decorators, settings tools and related applications from the Beryl and Compass communities. Compass Fusion concentrates on installation, configuration and additional plugins to add to the core functionalities of Compass. Outcomes include plans to fund a code review panel consisting of the best developers from each community who will see that any code included in a release package meets the highest standards and is suitable for distribution in an officially supported package. Topic: <laughs> Further branches. In the fourth quarter of 2008, two separate branches of Compass were created, Compass++ Plus Plus and Nomad. Compass++ Plus Plus was geared toward the separation of compositing and OpenGL layers for the rendering of the window manager without compositing effects, and the port from C to C++ programming language. Nomad was geared towards the improvement of remote desktop performance for Compass installations. Topic. Merge of the Compass branches On February 2, 2009 a conference call was held between developers of Compass, Compass++, Plus Plus, Nomad and Compass Fusion where it was decided to merge the projects into a unified project, simply named Compass, with a unified roadmap. Topic. Compass 0.9 series 
On July 4, 2010, Sam Spilsbury, lead Compass developer, announced the release of Compass 0.9.0 with a new API, rewritten in C. Canonical Ltd hired Spilsbury to further develop Compass for Ubuntu in October 2010. Since then, Compass development mostly coincides with Ubuntu development. Main development moved to Canonical's Launchpad service. The 0.9.x versions up to 0.9.5 were seen as unstable, beta software. With version 0.9.6 in progress, Canonical hired developer Daniel Van Vugt to work on Compass full time. While 0.9.6 never officially released, Compass 0.9.7.0 was released a month ahead of Enterprise targeted Ubuntu 12.04 LTS long term support and declared stable. A few days before the official release of Ubuntu 12.04 a new development branch, 0.9.8, was created in preparation for Ubuntu 12.10. For Compass version 0.9.8 development has moved to a new launchpad page. In November 2012, Spilsbury announced that he had left Canonical and stated he had no plans to port Compass to Wayland. A small team continues to work on Compass with version 0.9.13 being the focus of development as of July 2016. Topic: <laughs> Compass Reloaded. A group forked the Compass 0.8 series code base and modernized it and maintains it as of 2018. Features Almost all available Compass features, except translucency, dimming, and desaturation, are delivered using plugins. Compass plugins include the Cube Effect, Alt Tab application switching with live previews or icons, and a feature similar to MacOS's Mission Control. The composite extension to X is used, as is the OpenGL extension GLX underscore EXT underscore texture underscore from underscore Pixmap. The Compass project categorizes the plugins into four main groups main, extra, unsupported, and experimental. Window managers use a program called a window decorator to provide the window borders with the usual minimize, maximize, and close buttons. Unlike many window managers which have only one window decorator, Compass users have a choice of three. GTK Window Decorator uses either a basic Cairo-based rendering engine or can use Metacity themes. KDE Window Decorator uses native Quinn themes. Emerald, a custom decorator with its own theme format that has been ported to Compass. It used to be Beryl's default decorator. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Deployments. Compass or Beryl have usually been deployed on Linux and other X11-based Unix-like platforms together with GNOME 2 and KDE 3. Since version 4.2, however, KDE's own Quinn ships with capabilities similar to Compass. As such, Compass is not usually deployed with recent Plasma Workspaces versions. GNOME version 3.0 uses GNOME Shell which is built as a plug-in to the Mutter Compositing Window Manager. This means Compass cannot be used in conjunction with GNOME Shell, citing a lack of maintenance on the part of the Compass developers. Fedora removed Compass from the Fedora repositories from Fedora 17, however, Compass has been reinstated in the Fedora repositories since Fedora 18. An official mate spin which includes Compass has been available since Fedora 19. Compass was dropped from the Debian repositories from Debian 7 onwards in August 2013 due to broken packages and a lack of upstream development on the part of the Compass developers. Compass was reintroduced into Debian in December 2016 by the Hypera.fr team. Compass was dropped from the Arch Linux repositories in May 2013. Compass can still be installed from packages available in the Arch user repository. Ubuntu 6.06 LTS and later included Compass in the Universe repository. A limited version was included by default as desktop effects in Ubuntu 7.04. From Ubuntu 7.10 onwards, Compass was enabled by default. In 2010 Canonical released the Unity interface which is written as a plugin for Compass. <laughs> Some Compass effects 0 .8 <laughs> 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 See also Comparison of X window managers Virtual GL Desk space Project Looking Glass <laughs>